scans and a Sten gun in his. Come on out, Jerry. Come on out, Jerry. I said, sure, yeah, I am coming out. So I cranked it all the way down, got out, and I reached back and he said, ah, 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 because we had our sidearms on the right hip. Hands up. And I had no intention to shoot. I got out, slid down the wings, stood there, and the other guys uh, in the planes, but they, they run. Would you please assemble, very politely, would you please assemble in the flight control room? So we, we walked up there. I took off my parachute and threw it back into the plane. And as we were standing around there, this uh, British lieutenant, uh, he said, gentlemen, we are a British special commando. We are racing to go to Copenhagen. That's where you come in. We want to be in Copenhagen before the Russians because we have intelligence that the Russians want to occupy Denmark and you Germans definitely have an interest that they shall not occupy Denmark. So don't do anything foolish. Don't hinder us. We will fight you with all we have if need be, but don't do it. In your best interest, leave us alone. We leave you alone. Any questions? Anybody had a question? Thank you. Don't do anything foolish. And they got out, and they had those uh, eight-wheel, uh, I think they are American-made, uh, armored personnel carriers, and they zoomed off, and all night we heard the uh, armor not just trucks, but armored go by, and they raced and occupied Denmark. And we said, all right, we are now behind the front. What do we do? <laughs> and I never forget, as one guy said, what do we do? We drink. <laughs> and somebody got some beer, and we had a long, long session together, BSing and drinking beer. With the war's end, the Luftwaffe ceased to exist. Though they fought bravely, even suicidally, the defenders of the Reich had failed to save their nation from total destruction. Though once thousands strong, only a few of Germany's great aircraft survived in the post-war world. Thousands lay alongside runways, nothing but twisted wreckage gathering weeds as they slowly rusted away. By 1950, the Luftwaffe's fighter force existed only in old photos and in the memories of those men who, despite telling odds, rose to do battle time and again in a cause as hopeless as it was perverted. They were the defenders of the Reich.